Are they hiding more land from us? I think they are. If you've seen any of my videos, you know that I talk about how the globe deception was created to hide God from us, to make us think we are insignificant coming from a big bang billions of years ago. If humans can hide gods, then what good are the gods? <laughs> Can't be very powerful gods, I guess. You know, hide and seek. Okay, gods, you win. You know, we can't find you anywhere. So, like, you know, you can come out of hiding now. I don't believe any of that. I believe God created the place we live. And I think he also created more lands that we live. I think there are more than seven continents. In fact, I think one of those continents isn't even a continent, but an ice wall that surrounds our current living situation. Golly, if only we had, oh, I don't know, maybe images of the earth from, oh, I don't know, the moon, perhaps, showing us that the godless heathens for the past 5,000 years or so have been hiding extra land from us and, you know, the ice wall on the disk. But I guess we don't have those images, so we're just going to have to believe that they're doing this to us. See, I think there's a chance that we live on something more like this. Uh, no, there's no chance of that, dude. A big, flat plane where we currently live is surrounded by a giant ice wall that I'm going to show you in a minute. That's right. Let's see the ice wall. I would love to see the ice wall. You know, like, you know, maybe, oh, I don't know, send up a satellite and look. I mean, nobody's ever done that before. So maybe the ice wall really is there. I mean, how could we possibly know <laughs> that it's there or not unless we, like, go and look, you know, but... Nobody's ever done that before, by golly. Not allowed to, I bet. And the 60th parallel is about around that, what that ice wall would be. And we're not allowed to explore any of this outer land. Okay, according to whom are we not allowed to explore beyond the 60th parallel? That's latitude. There's a reason why they're called parallels on a sphere. I mean, if you were on a disc, I guess suppose it would be called the 60th inner ring <laughs> or, uh, parallel. Anybody who wants to explore beyond the 60th parallel is certainly welcome and I suppose encouraged to do so. I mean, there are ways to do that, which, you know, it, it, it requires intelligence and education. So I guess um, that rules this guy out. And me, by the way. So this is a possibility? No! It's not a possibility, dude! I think even something like this is a possibility, where there's bigger and bigger ice walls. And for flat earthers out there, we know there's a dome above us. Maybe there's different domes in different areas. That's right. Flat earth believers... No, there's a dome over us to keep the water out and the dome has gates in it to let the rain down to come in. Um, that's perfectly reasonable. Um, it certainly is better than magic gravity that causes water to stick to a ball. I mean, that's just nuts. The, the dome, yeah, perfectly rational. And I'm going to show you how this would even work and how the sun could even, the sun that we see, could even work on all these different domes and different lamps. I personally even like this one where potentially each dome is a higher level of vibration that you have to get to. We're stuck in the lowest vibrating area. But oh, you might be stuck in the lowest vibration area, but I, as an ascended being, way up there on the vibrational levels you know i'm like you know i'm down here slumming with you people but i really belong way up there dude so um, i mean look at this face it just shows superiority over you lesser mortal beings 
So, yeah, speak for yourself, dude. But maybe through our first dome, you got to be vibrating at a little higher level. And then maybe that outer dome is what's called heaven. Or maybe not. First, I want to show you this, if you don't know about it. It's called the Antarctic Treaty, and it was signed in 1959 by literally dozens of countries, countries that you would never guess would be able to agree on a treaty, not only at the time, but for the next 60 years, okay? So it states basically that you cannot travel to this below the 60th parallel unless it's a supervised guided tour. Okay, so... These guides, of course, they're probably, oh, I don't know, penguins with machine guns, I guess. Meanwhile, anybody who wants to explore the Antarctic can fill out the application, show that they have a legitimate reason for exploring the Antarctic, um, you'll probably need some backing by some academies or something. But if you get the education and you have the intelligence and you have the reason to do that, fill out the form, get approval, and go do it without penguins with machine guns guarding you. People do this all the time. They have done it all the time. Not all the time. They're currently doing this. They will continue to do this in the future. Just fill out the form. Say, hey, this is why I and my team want to go explore this section of the Antarctic. But if on the forum you say your reason is to go beyond the ice wall to check out the land that everybody is hiding from us, chances are pretty good the application will be rejected. Okay, so basically none of you watching this are allowed to go to Antarctica. Actually, I am allowed to go to Antarctica. I can do so any summer that I choose if I have the money, so this dude's wrong. And in the globe, Antarctica is a continent at the bottom of the map. Actually, it's at the top of the map if you turn the map around. Um, you know, there's no top, there's no bottom. The flat earth world Antarctica is the ice wall that I'm going to show you in a minute that surrounds us and keeps you from traveling to the outer lands. So I just want to show you here in the globe model, 60th parallel is here. It goes all the way around. You cannot go here unless you pay $30,000 for a guided tour that probably takes you like just to somewhere around Deception Island. Well, let's see. Um... Not 35,000, more like 83,000 to visit the South Pole and spend the night at the South Pole and actually see the sun instead of rising over here and setting over here. You can see the sun go all the way around you <laughs> from like, oh, follow the sun. It makes a 360 degree circle doesn't set, doesn't rise, by golly, stay the night. Stay awake <laughs> for the night at the South Pole. And you can see the sun doing really strange behavior that, you know, technically, I suppose, it could be on a disc. You know, you look up and, hey, the sun, you know, is it's around uh, just above the horizon. But on a sphere, that makes perfect sense if you're at the South Pole. $83,000 just, you know, that's for the actual expedition. They cost more to actually get to, let's see, Chile is the, um, you actually fly to the Antarctic and then you return to Chile and then from Chile you go home. But you have to pay for all of that separate, but for the actual excursion to the South Pole to spend the night at the South Pole starts at $83,000. <laughs> I hope that the $83,000 includes you know firewood for the stove in the in the tent. <laughs> I'm kidding but yeah one may go to the Antarctic spend the night there and look at the sun doing odd sun things. 
Deception Island, yes. So let's show you what this looks like on the actual map of the world you live on. All right, so here's where you actually live. This. Actually, I don't live on that. <laughs> this is a map from 1892, an actual map. Notice there's no Antarctica on it because this is Antarctica, this ice wall that again, I'm gonna show you in a minute. It surrounds the other continents and I would put my house on it, that there are lands out here that we are not allowed to go to. I assume this guy is uh, making, or he's putting out there a wager and I accept. If he's gonna wager his house, that beyond the ice wall, there's other lands besides what we know here on, you know, the spherical Earth. Um, I accept that wager. I have, I only have, like, um, how much money do I have, Lola? I think I have about $8,000. Um, so, I accept that wager, dude. Most of you probably don't even know this exists. This is Antarctica. This is the ice wall. It surrounds known lands. And you are trapped here under a dome. Um, anybody educated knows that exists. I mean, we've seen it in videos, you know, going back to junior high school, you know. So, dude, we know that the ice at Antarctic does exist um haven't seen the dome yet um i don't know why i mean if the dome exists surely rockets would have bounced off of it you know at the very least all right i want you to get a better look at this here 1892 map and this is what all the maps looked like before the public indoctrination centers funded by john d rockefeller started throwing the globes at everybody. That was right. Um, Rockefeller is more than 5,000 years old, and he's been doing this ever since he, you know, made his fortune, you know, in the petroleum industry, you know, 5,000 years ago. I mean, there was a huge demand for crude oil and refined oil 5,000 years ago. Um, so, yeah. It... Okay, look at this. There are actual maps that outline the ice wall back before they pushed the globe. Just want you to get a look at this. And I want to show you how the sun we see would actually work on the outer lands. Follow along next. By the way, the patent for the Gleason map, which this genius is showing, says it is a projection of a sphere. That's on the patent. So, well done, dude. 